up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. What's up, football fans? This is the last weekend of the year to get your football bets in. I've teamed up with DraftKings Sportsbook, and right now is the perfect time to take your shot at the crown. DraftKings is giving all new customers $200 in bonus bets instantly when they place their first $5 bet on anything. How dope is that? There's no time like the present. Download the DraftKings Sports app now and sign up using my promo code TBC. That's the Breakfast Club. TBC. The crown is yours. That's right. New customers who bet $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Wondering what you can use your $200 in bonus bets on? Combine multiple bets together from Super Bowl 58 for a shot at an even bigger payout. If you're already signed up on DraftKings like me, you can make a bet on the Super Bowl 58 and get a bonus bet back. Get a bonus bet in the amount of your initial wager. Max reward varies. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, which happens, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have a shot at winning cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code TBC. That's my code TBC and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code TBC only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yes, indeed. T Grizzly. What up, though? What up, though? What up, what up, what up Grizzly? What's the deal, man? How you feeling, brother? Feeling good. Feeling great. Blessed. All that. Look Absolutely. good. I'm glad Thank you, you. Uh, put down the, the joysticks a little bit to start uh, rapping again. <laughs> <laughs> you was really yeah. making that much money on video games? Yeah, man. There wasn't no words about it. Damn, still, I mean, still auto. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's crazy because before I was a rapper, I was a gamer. I feel mm -hmm. like we all was, you know what I'm saying, just growing up playing a game. So just like music is something I put a lot of passion into. How do you make a career at that, though? Like, I, that's what I always be wanting. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I had to be coached through it because when I first started playing, like, online, I was just meeting different people who was already doing it, and they kind of taught me how to do it, and it just took off. I'm surprised at the numbers that gamers make. So it's just... Is it gambling or is it tournaments or how does how does it work? No, it's just it's just you building a community and the audience. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And they they paying to subscribe to so to your stream. content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. streaming. Yeah. Can that translate into record sales? I wonder. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. if you do it right, for sure. Right. Yeah. So if I if I drop an album, and I'm in GTA and I have a listening party, I'm like all of us got to play it at the same time on our own and come back and give our feedback on the songs and stuff like that. Mm. Then you get everybody engaged and everybody streaming it. Mm. What platform is that? Because I mean, I'm I'm sure messing with the labels. Because once that's played in a Twitch or played in one of those streaming platforms, that got to be a spin, right? Because it's yeah, 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 for sure. Twitch, YouTube, and it's the, yeah, it's a spin for sure. That's because I'm, I'm getting everybody to do it on their own. You feel mm. me? Instead of me just listening to it for y'all and y'all hearing it with me, that's only one stream. You feel me? What's the most you ever oh. made? If you don't mind us asking. Um, Cause your diamonds are shining, brother. I appreciate it. It was a lot. I don't. I don't know. It was a lot. More than six figures. Yeah, yeah. Damn, sure. it was a lot. Yeah. How do my regular son. kids get to do that? Though? I'm not. <laughs> what I'm trying to figure my out. My son, we getting that all yeah. that now. Yeah, yeah. And that's what what game that's playing? GTA. GTA. Yeah. Grand oh, so you ready for GTA Six then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Super ready for that for sure. It took him long enough, but shout out to Rockstar and my people though. Mm -hmm. Now, Tease Coney Island. Mm -hmm. You're not from from New York. No. So why is it called Tease Coney Island? Mm -hmm. You know it's crazy. I had this. I'll never have to have this conversation in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because <laughs> they don't know not. Coney Island from there. Is that no? So look, so Coney Island is like you now y'all got y'all bodegas, right? Yeah. We got them in Detroit too, but it's just called Coney Island. Oh. So it's a bunch of different Coney Islands. You know what I'm saying? If you're from them areas, you got your own Coney. So it's like a store, a little convenience store. Like a diner. Okay, okay, you okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? Where you get food. What, you know what what, what's, what's the uh, significance of that to you? For me, growing up, you feel me? I ain't always like have a home cooked meal and I never ate out, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I scrape up on a couple of dollars. I know I go to the Coney and get a, get some good food. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it. Mm -hmm. But not that much money. You know? Can you take a woman there? Would she be fine going to Coney Island? For sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, definitely. You know they bougie nowadays. They yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coney ain't bad though. I took my wife to Coney Island before. What's like? What's some of the things on the menu that that that's good to get? So for me, I get I go for the grilled chicken pita, Swiss and American, and mm. bacon, chicken fingers, French fries. <laughs> <laughs> that's that what every not menu. What you, <laughs> get some, you get some chili fries. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got a nice, they got a decent burger, mm. good quality burger. Mm -hmm. 
if that's what you into. Um, all sorts of things on the menu, man. Have you invested in one? That's why you call it Tees Coney Island. Um, I, yeah, I invested. I invested in the one in my area. Okay, okay, yeah, smart. Yeah, for sure. The one I, the one I grew up walking to, like mm -hmm. before school type. You know, how'd you you just approach him like, yo, man, I want to, I want to buy a part of the business. Or... No, like I want to be a part of this. Like this, this Coney right here is significant. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying to me and my upbringing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So I just want to be a part of it. You feel me? They was rocking with me, you know. Dope. Now, first day out was your biggest record, right? Mm -hmm. Did you ever think that you would beat the success of of, of first day out? Because it's it's a club staple, yeah. Radio it's still record, hot. yeah. But yeah. you you did it, yeah. So, so did you ever think that you would beat that? Man, I that's one song I could say like I performed that song and it, the reaction is like it came out yesterday. You feel me? Yeah. My goal in life, you know, what I'm saying when when it comes like chasing my dreams with this music. It was it was never to outdo anything. It was to get that in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just happy to have that. You know what I'm saying? And continue to let that be the car that drive the other content that I put out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that song put pressure on you? Like, because you know, you came out the gate, Jay Z tweeting about it. Yeah. Like, did it put pressure on you to keep making that level of music? No, nah, because I don't see. I don't look at it. I don't look at it like that. Mm -hmm. I look at it as the blessing that it is, mm -hmm. and I'm just grateful for it. If anything else come, then it come. If not, then I'm grateful for it because it saved and changed my life to this day. Everybody that's locked up does a freestyle when they get out to a first day out. Every last yeah, rapper. Yeah. You, you, you get tired of it, you be like, all right, here, go with my record again. No, I don't be tripping. I'll let them do their thing. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, you're the second generation of artists I saw do that. First person I saw do that was Gucci, man. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Then it was you, and I saw JT did it before. It seems mm -hmm. like people do that mm -hmm. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got you got to come with a first day out. You get locked up. That's like a thing now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but hopefully gotta, don't nobody get locked up though. It work. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> yeah. you got a, a big record moving right now. Yeah. I don't give a f with uh, Chris Brown and Mariah the Sciences. How that come about? How y'all link up? Number one record, by the way, too. Number mm -hmm. one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Congrats. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. Um, so I rock with with Chris Brown, and um, I had went to his crib. We was in L.A. chilling at his crib, and we was in the studio just cooking and throwing around ideas, and we had came up with that one, and we knew we needed a female on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my wife had put me hip to Mariah the Scientist, and I've been a fan there since. So I had shot it to her, and she loved it, killed it, did her thing. Yeah. You know? And after that, we went number one. You got a couple records with Chris Brown on the, on, on the project. What's, what's y'all energy like? I mean, bro just, bro just a genuine dude. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Our energy, a lot of times when we kick it, it don't even be about music. You know what I'm saying? We just kick it. Like how we talking right now, we just mm -hmm. be chopping it up. Now you got married pretty young. Most people say that's pretty young, especially in this industry. Twenty eight years old. Mm -hmm. How did you know she was the one? You mentioned her twice because I know you. I know you were love. We seen all the wedding photos. How did you know mm -hmm. she was the one? Yeah. So it, it's it's no such thing as somebody being the one. You oh know? shit! You about to start some shit on oh, social right. media with that one? No, listen though. <laughs> listen though. It's, it's it's no such thing as somebody being the one, man. This 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 takes effort. It got to be something you want to do. You got to be the one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to be the one to want to do it because they not they don't propose. You do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? This this got to be something you want. This got to be something you want to do. This got to be something that you're willing to stick with no matter what. And it's got to be something you make a choice to put effort into. You feel me? I when agree you, with that. You, 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 right. I, I agree with that, but she still got to be special enough for you to say, this is what I want to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I mean, everybody's special. Mm hmm you feel me? There's nobody out here that's that's not special in their own way, you know. Uh, with that's her, that's used to tell hoes. Uh huh. That's used to tell hoes. I don't. I don't know about no. I ain't never had none. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. To you. I ain't never had none. But I like your take on that though. Like you got to be the one. You gotta, you know, because a lot of men always put it on a woman. Yeah. Like you know, she 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 was the one, and she wasn't it. But you're talking about the other side of it, yeah. which I appreciate that. No, we don't sure. we don't hear that. Yeah. Ever, so. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. It, you got you got to want it. You got to want it definitely. When right. did you realize what made you want to do it at, at that particular moment, in that particular time? So, this this always been a dream of mine. I always knew I was gonna do this. You know what I'm saying? Because the household I grew up in was it was a lot of dysfunction. Mm -hmm. You know, and I knew that's not what I wanted. I know I wanted to have a two parent household because that's what I wish I had. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I knew I wanted to be married and carry myself a certain way because that's what I wish I saw coming up. Mm -hmm. So growing up for me was a kind of like a lot of what not to do. And that made me want to do this. 
That's breaking generational curses, my brother. They say if you come from a broken home, make sure a broken home don't come from you. Yeah. 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 Now, I know we talk about a lot of the, the success that you had with gaming and, and, and your records, but you also had some some down, well, I wouldn't say some downfalls, but some negative stuff around you as well. How, how have you been dealing with all that? Because I know it could be a lot, especially in this industry. Yeah. Um. Man, I just I just try my best not to feed into it because I know how far it can go. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It could go too far. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. things can be broken beyond repair. So I just try my best to just stay positive and deal with it the best way I can. I feel like you've been given a you know you've been giving yourself you give becoming a life of service basically. You've been you've been a public servant because I saw you giving out free meals. You know people to people in Detroit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what made you want to do that? Um, what was that? What was that? What did that feel like? Yeah. So. I'm, I've always been big on community service. Like a lot of stuff I do, be, be it be things that I wish somebody would have did for me. Mm -hmm. So you might hear me say that a lot. Um, one of my guys, he opened up a restaurant, Hood Bachi, in Detroit. And um, oh, that's hard, Hood Bachi. Hood Bachi, mm -hmm. Hood Bachi in the hood too. So I'm like, this food is amazing that y'all cooking up here. You know what I'm saying? I want to feed a lot of people. Let's do an event where we just bring all the people out. I pay for all the food. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even a big like put together thing. It was just let's just do this. That's dope. Hood yeah, bocce. Hood bocce. So it's dope. a bocce? It's just in the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm noticing a lot of Detroit rappers, you guys have been squashing up your beefs. Was it where was it a meeting or was it a conversation? Because it seemed not just with you and Sada Baby and a lot, but it seems like everybody's doing it, which I think is dope for the city. Because mm -hmm. one time, if you're on one side of the, or one side of town, you can't go on this side of the town. But now it seems like you guys have been healing that those, those negative energies. How, how has that been and how was, was those conversations? I mean, it's, it's it's been good. You know, some stuff went too far to turn back from, and some stuff can still be reconciled, you know. And we love our city. And whether we say it or not, we love each other. You know what I'm saying? And everybody want to see everybody win because it just make us look better as a whole. You know what I'm saying? When something good happened for the city, it make all of us look better and do better. The Lions would have won, my prices would have went up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Right. It just Did that that's hurt what, you. That's what we all want to see. No, it ain't hurt me. I was happy they had a great season, mm -hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't did this since before I was born. Did you bet on it with anybody? No, I ain't bet on it though. Okay. I ain't bet on it, no. How do you deal with a situation when you know it's gone too far? Like 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 when you say certain things have gone too far and you can't reconcile them. So what do you do? You just leave it alone, ignore it? Or like what do you do? Unfortunately, it just gotta it gotta be uh, somebody gotta come out a winner. No. Unfortunately, I mean it's too far. To okay, so listen. If something went too far to turn back from, mm -hmm. and we both have to be here, and we both know we're gonna eventually run into each other, somebody gotta win, somebody gotta lose. That's life, though. This has been happening since the beginning of time. What's a win, though? A win is because especially if that win could. Do it depends on what you see as a win. That's what I'm saying. A win can be squashing it. That can be a win true, because true. when you mm -hmm. when you let. Stuff like that go, you feel a weight come off your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Like, man, I ain't got to deal with that no more. I ain't got to worry about that no more. Or a win could be something else. A win could be, um, I don't know. It could be something else. Because did they let it go? Just because you let it go don't mean he let it go. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, a win can't be putting yourself in a position to where you're not here. No, nah, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but also some stuff can't be reconciled because even if it do – Things might have went too far for you to even be comfortable around this person, so you might still feel something, some tension, mm -hmm. and you will always feel that. So, at, at, at what point do you stop the robbery series? I don't know. <laughs> I think I think when, when, I, when they stop when they stop asking me for it when they ask me to end it because they be they be yelling me about the robbery. You don't feel like you don't feel like you might be speaking things into existence a little bit. No, nah, because I've started like speaking in third person on there. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Making up characters and fake names. So none of this stuff is happening to T. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's happening to the characters I made up. So I ain't speaking it toward, me, toward myself. Is that something you're going to turn into one of them Detroit hood movies? Like, like a Tubi movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but because Detroit got their own genre. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. The opportunity presents itself to probably so. Mm -hmm. uh, for sure. But Tubi is like popping. I, I would like to see that as a movie. Like, too. Tubi is like Detroit, Hollywood, like especially Hollywood. Detroit. Yeah, I'm absolutely. You, between Detroit and Cleveland, <laughs> you know, you know, it's, it's the same eight niggas killing each other different ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm telling you, it is definitely one of the most popping uh, networks that I be on. I be watch. I watch Tubi every day. I put him on with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, Tubi, Tubi like that. Tubi like that. Yeah. Everybody know about Tubi. Mm. I love it. Yeah. How, how's fatherhood changed you? 
What's your um, child like two now, right? Three? Uh, yeah, he just turned three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, fatherhood, I wouldn't even say changed. I'd say like enhanced what mm-hmm. was already there. You know, because I already was kind of polished a little bit from the mis- learning from the mistakes I made and just knowing how to move and stuff like that. And I would say it enhanced all of that. Mm-hmm. It enhanced my heart. It enhanced my wisdom. You know what I'm saying? It enhanced my empathy, all that type of stuff. How important is it for, you know, your, your son to carry your name? He's a, the third, right? Yeah, he's the third. Yeah. It's 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 super important. It's so crazy because um, I remember I was real young. I don't even remember how old I was, but... My granddad, who passed, told me to do that. And I always told myself, like, now I hope I remember this by the time I have a kid. Because I was so young, and I remember to do it. So He told you that, bro? Like, yo, make sure your son... Yeah, he like... Wow. Yeah, yeah, he told me to do that, for sure. Wow. Yeah. What does that... I mean, what's that legacy mean, though? Man, it means... It means everything. Because it's different for you than it was for your yeah. father. I'm yeah, sure. it means everything, because we continuing to turn the name into something more and more positive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it means everything. But I'm, I wouldn't put no pressure on him. Like, you have to absolutely do this. You know what I'm saying? But it means a lot for, the, for our name to continue to go in a positive direction. Dope. At one time, you said you would wish you could take back all the DMs you sent. Yeah. What was in them DMs that you were sending, mm-hmm. the mass DMs? Just all of any, y'all special. Anything. All all y'all special. Not, even, not even that. I love all y'all. Not even that. The reason I said I want to take it away, it ain't even because I was saying nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like to say nothing. I don't say nothing crazy to mm-hmm. where... You know what I'm saying? It you be, have to regret it later. You feel me? It's going to be a paper trail. Mm-hmm. I want to take all of them away because I don't know who I said something to. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's people out there who I forgot that I even did. I just wish I could take all of it back. What were you saying to them? Well, they got unsend. You can go on. The, but see, the thing, I don't know who all I DM. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and if they already opened them and stuff. You and, feel me? Yeah. It's, it might be somebody out there like, look, this him right here. And I don't even, I didn't forget about it. Yeah, and probably would never even go on their page again. I just <laughs> say it's AI. Back. You can say it's AI now. That's a bot. Yeah, yeah. You don't even got to claim it was you. Yeah. You don't have a. That was called Coney Island, and that's a Detroit staple. But yeah. you don't have a lot of Detroit artists on that. Um, you got two, right? Skiller Baby. Yeah. Cash yeah. Doll on the Deluxe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. What was that purposely purposeful? Or? Um, I don't know if it was purposeful, but I don't really, I don't go out my way and try to like chase people down and get stuff. If it happened, then it happened. Like them mm-hmm. two is like just genuine when it happened. Mm-hmm. I'm open to do something with anybody for mm-hmm. sure, mm-hmm. but I don't really like just having to chase people down or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a song uh, on the album. What's that featuring the late uh, PNB Rock? Mm-hmm. How did that uh, come about? Did did he record that before his passing or did um? Yeah, so we, yeah, no, we we made that together before his passing. So when I was um I was in the I was living in the valley at the time and um in Cali, and um bro stayed next door to me. Mm. I didn't even know he was. He had told me to come over his house like a few months before I moved in. Mm-hmm. And when I was moving, I'm like, dang, this place looks familiar. I've been here before, but I ain't paid too much attention to it. Then mm-hmm. I seen him taking out the trash in his girl house shoes. I clowned on him for that for like <laughs> three months. You know what I'm saying? But taking out trash? In his, in girl's, his, house, house, in his girl's house shoes. In girl's house shoes. Oh, I thought you said out his girl's house. I ain't even hit the shoes. No, no, no. <laughs> he had her house shoes on, taking out the trash, and I was just, you know what I'm saying? That was some little insider. But he had a studio in his crib, and um, we had one there. We just always record stuff. Yeah, so he was he was at your wedding, right? One of the, one of the best uh, men. The, the engagement party. The engagement party, yeah. yeah. How, do, how do y'all feel safe, like, in places like, LA because y'all not from there and you've seen you know the, unfortunately the pop smokes and the PNB rocks like yeah. you know why 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 not be someplace that you more comfortable yeah um one thing about California is is big enough to where you don't have to see nobody you don't want to see mm-hmm. you don't have to bump into nobody you ain't supposed to bump into so if you bump into these people then you probably put yourself in position to bump into these people mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so you don't you you have no desire to be just going in the hood just to say you there no, not just to say I'm there. Mm-hmm. It's people who I rock with over there. I might pull up and mess with them, but ain't nobody expecting me. I ain't making a public announcement that I'm going. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And by the time somebody heard that I was over there or there, I'm probably already gone. How dangerous is it to be a rapper nowadays? Um, it depends on how you moving. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It could be just as dangerous as being the president or it could be just as safe as nobody knowing you just a regular mm-hmm. person mm-hmm. it depends on how you move and how you putting yourself out there and what type of enemies you making along the way mm-hmm. and how you dealing with all, with all your trauma with with, with all because you know, PNB Rock was a close friend and your manager that passed like how how are you dealing with, with that trauma yeah so um, I, I, I do a lot of healing things 
You know what I'm saying? Love to hear that. Yeah, I do, I do a lot of healing things for sure. Um, a couple of people I want to just shout out with that. Uh, my sister, Tierra, um, we we do certain things that kind of heal traumas, you know, like sit down with certain medicines and just get that stuff, release all that stuff. What'd you do? DMT, shrooms, ayahuasca? Ayahuasca. Aya. Ayah. Ooh, you did Aya? Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that experience. Nice. Man, it was powerful, man. Yeah. It was super powerful, yeah. It's it's like, it's, it's, it's something in us, right, mm. that already knows what to do with the medicine once it's inside you. Mm. And it does exactly what it's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it just works perfectly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The medicine is perfect for you. It's kind of like a facial recognition on your phone once mm. it get inside your body and it just unlock things. Mm. You feel me? And the, the thing about it is once it teach once you learn what it teaches you or once it show you whatever you need to see because it works for everybody individually different ways, mm -hmm. it's on you to remember this stuff. Did, did you did you detox beforehand and like cuz you and set your intention and all of that? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. No, we we did it. It was very ceremonial how we did it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a room that we was in. You couldn't even bring certain technology no devices in here. Yeah. You um, couldn't even step in here if you was in a certain frequency. Like, be super positive when you step in this room. We want to keep this energy a certain way. Did you poop and vomit on yourself as well? They said that's that's. You no, that's 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 what the duck flower. I ain't did that one yet. Mm -hmm. I'm a little intimidated so it's by different. that one. It's different kinds, different types to do. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah, turned yeah. you on to it? Who turned me on to it? My wife turned me on to it. Really? Yeah, yeah. And you, you did it before wife? you? No, nah, but she knew about it, right. and she was like, "We should do this together." Did it yeah. make you anxious? Or? No, it ain't. It ain't made me anxious at all. It just, it just, right. it just made me like, it just woke me up to a lot of stuff. Right. It woke me up to not only how powerful we are, but how certain things shouldn't even bother us, and how great life can be once you see it a certain way. Did you see God? Mm. Yeah. Everybody, everybody yeah. that does uh -huh. tell me they saw God. Yeah, for sure, thousand percent. What did it look like? Uh, it was just light. What somebody else told me the exact same thing. It was just light, bro. Yeah. You and you did it where? And because a lot of people go overseas, you did it in California. I did it in DR, the Dominican oh, Republic. Oh, you yeah. did it. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah. wow. Did, did God speak to you? Yeah, it's crazy because when it's when 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 he spoke, I didn't, I couldn't hear it, and it was like I, it was an angel, there and I asked like, why well, I can't hear what he's saying? It was like because the voice is too powerful. It's like you you couldn't handle hearing that. Oh, you was talking to the shaman? Mm -hmm. No, I was talking to who the other figure. And see that I saw, that was wow. there with me. Wow. So it was another figure with you while you were talking. To yeah, that took me up to God. Like, like let's go see him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you were having conversations like this while you were. Yeah, because I'm asking. I'm a person who asks a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm asking a lot of questions. Like, where are we going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that? You know what I'm saying? Because people told me when you do it, it's not. You don't feel like high. You, you, it's like you're fully aware of where you are, but yeah. you're fully aware you someplace else. Because it's, it's it's not high. Mm -hmm. It's not high. It's like imagine you going into like a body of water, you know what I'm saying? And your purpose of going here is to come out with some jewels, some knowledge, you know what I'm saying? So you're not getting high. Wow. Could you do it again or this is a one-time thing? This is something you only do once. No, you, you do it again. You do it again. But this is nothing that you, this is not something that you do like, like I do shrooms all the mm -hmm. time. This mm -hmm. is not something that you just do like that. No, 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 no yeah, it, it ain't, it ain't nothing you do recreational. You, you, yeah. you're not even gonna want to do it recreational. Right. Because it's like, that was deep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're gonna face some stuff like oh, that was powerful, you know what I'm saying? So wow. yeah. But see with with the psilocybin, like the shrooms and stuff like that, what that do, I feel like that's like a heart medicine. It just make you like happy and make you you able to smile at things and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But like even with my experience on uh, you know, the psilocybin, I've had like come to moments as well, even with that. So yeah. I would like to do ayahuasca. I just don't feel like it's the time for me yet. Yeah. Cause like uh, to Charlemagne's point, you got you'll know when you have to do it. I'm I'm excited to do it, and I, I hear, but I I've had like some of the things that you're talking about. I've had that with shrooms. Like I've been on shrooms, and I've been my mother. I've been my grandmother who's passed. I've mm -hmm. been my little sister. I've been my dad, and and I could see generations and generations before mm -hmm. me, like stuff like that. Yeah, and that's only on shrooms, so yeah. I can only imagine how the mm. eye is. Yeah, no, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah. Even with Aya, they say you go through generations of people, mm -hmm. and you can heal like generational traumas mm. through the medicine. Yeah, yeah. You did a uh, therapy too, like any just regular therapy, sitting down with a psychiatrist or therapist. Um, no, I ain't did that. Mm -hmm. I ain't did that. So everything has been plant based for you. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. Yeah. That's yeah. dope. Now, I'm just last question. 
So when you, when you do go through the ceremony, are you sitting down? Are you laying down? Are you sitting in, you know? So for me, they made me sit up, like sit down. And um, for the women that was in the room, they laid down. Wow. They gave me the option to lay down though. Mm -hmm. wow. Have you have you wanted that to reflect in your music in any way yet? Um, it hasn't yet because I it, it ain't really the create the creativity in music, and that hasn't bridged yet for me. Mm -hmm. A lot of people tell me when they do it, you know, the things that they experience, you may not want to share. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. they tell you to write it down in a journal, but you probably wouldn't want to share that with the world just yet. Me. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I ain't really. It wasn't really nothing that was worth sharing. And one thing I learned, like, like how you say, like people wouldn't want to share s certain things because mm -hmm. they ashamed of it. Shame was a big lesson when I was under the medicine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because just growing up, I always cared about like what people think and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And one thing that the medicine taught me is like, it's nothing to ever be ashamed of because anything about you, you didn't ask for it, mm -hmm. but it's perfect for you. So you should never feel shame. Did you see anybody that that passed away? Did you see your, your manager? Did you see P and B at the time? Um, I, I I didn't see them too, but I did see some other people who passed away though for sure. Wow. Damn! Wow! Yeah, I can't wait. He went from the album to ayahuasca. That was good <laughs> yeah. though, yeah. 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 because he gave yeah. some healing tips. But you know what I mean. Yeah. But once again, you got to do it when it calls you. That's you right. Know? That's yeah. not something you just say. Oh, I need to go out there and heal. Like right. no, when it calls you to it. And you got bought to it by people that you trust and love, so mm -hmm. that's a whole different ball game. Yeah, for sure. Well, the album Coney Island, T's Coney Island, is out right now. Yeah, and we appreciate you for for joining us. It's been a long Absolutely. time. I know you're supposed to come here a couple of times, but yeah. thank you for joining us, brother. Yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for having me, man. And congrats on the number one record again. Thank you. All right, it's the breakfast. As a matter of fact, let's get into the record. I know you got a new record you're working on. So what you want to get into now? We can get into that loophole, man. Loophole. Yeah. Featuring the baby. Featuring Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Savage. Yeah. The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Let's get it. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.